Hello everyone, welcome to solve this nice math Olympiad algebra problem and here we have uh, a to the power of x plus 4 to the power of x is equals to 36 and we solve this problem for the values of x only or in other words we can just solve this problem for uh, real values of x okay so uh, here uh, first we need to rewrite this equation as first we can write uh, 4 and 8 into the prime factors form and the prime factors of 8 are 2 cubed and its whole power x plus the prime factors of 4 are 2 squared and its whole power x is equals to 36 and here we can use the nice exponent law and you know about this life we have a to the power of m to the power of n it is equals to a to the power of n to the power of m it means that if you can interchange these two exponents it cannot be factored over final answer uh, so here we need to exchange these two exponents and it will be written as 2 to the power of x and its whole cubed plus 2 to the power of x and its whole square is equals to 36 and now our first claim is to convert this exponential equation into the cubic form uh, for this we need to take uh, y is equals to 2 to the power of x so when you put 2 to the power of x is equals to y then this equation uh, is written as in this form so we have this is y cubed plus y square and this whole equation is equals to 36 and now further in the next step you see here this the uh, given equation uh, is converted into the cubic form uh, so that uh, now we need to make the factors of this equation and we easily get the values of x so first we need to break the right hand side and we write this 36 as 27 plus 9 and we move these two values in the left hand side and it will becomes y cubed plus y square minus 27 minus 9 is equals to 0. And now we make the pair of cubic term with 27 and we make the pair of y square with 9 and this whole equation equals to 0. And now here in the next step uh, we uh, need to write this 27 as 3 cubed and we write the 9 as 3 square and this whole equation is equals to 0. And now further in the next step we need to uh, uh, use or we need to apply the two cubic formulas. The first formula is we have a cubed minus b cubed is equals to a minus b times of a square plus a b plus b square and the second is we can apply here this formula a square minus b square is equals to a minus b times of a plus b so here we need these two formulas so first we can apply the cubic formula in the first term so that our first term is written as uh, here the base of this term is over a and the base of this term is over b so we put these two values of a and b in the right hand side of this equation and it will be written as first you have a minus b the value of a is y minus the value of b is 3 and we have a square so a is y square plus a b so a is y and b is 3 plus b square b is 3 square and plus we can apply the square identity here so this will be written as y minus 3 times of y plus 3 and this whole equation is equals to 0 and now you focus on both of these terms and you see here y minus 3 be the common factor and when you take common y minus 3 it will be written as y square plus 3y plus this is 3 square uh, and here when you take common this y minus 3 we get the remaining value is y plus 3 and this whole equation is equals to 0 so here we write uh, here we uh, add or subtract the light terms and we write it as this is y square 
and 3y plus y becomes 4y and this is 3 square becomes 9 and 9 plus 3 becomes 12 and this whole equation is equals to 0. So that uh, here we need to break this equation and first we can write y minus 3 is equals to 0 and we write uh, y square plus 4y plus 12 equals to 0. And now from here uh, we easily get the value of y is equals to 3. So first we can back substitute the values of y and in the start of the problem we will write our y is equals to 2 to the power of x is equals to 3. And because uh, we solve this problem for the values of y only, uh, so that's why we need to take uh, the log on both of the sides of this equation. So that uh, when we take the log, it will be written as log of 2 to the power of x is equals to log of 3. And now we can apply uh, the nice uh, property of log and we can move the exponent of x in the front of this log and it will be written as x times of log 2 is equals to log of 3 and because we solve this problem for the values of x so that we move this log 2 to the right hand side and it will be written as x is equals to log of 3 divided by log of 2 and here we again apply the property of log and we can combine these two logs and it will be written as x is equals to log of 3 with base 2 so this is the value of x and this is the first real value of x in this question and now we move forward our second case and here in the second case first we check that is this quadratic equation has a real roots or not uh, so that we can apply here the discriminant formula and we check the behavior of this equation. First we write the coefficients of this equation and its coefficients are a equals to 1, b equals to 4 and c is equals to 12. And we state uh, the discriminant formula as delta is equals to b square minus 4 times of ac and here we need to put the values of a b and c it will be written as 4 square minus 4 times of a is 1 and c is 12 and it will be written as delta is equals to 4 square becomes 16 minus 4 times of 12 becomes 48 and when we subtract uh, 16 minus 48 it is equals to minus 32 and you see here this delta is less than 0 so if this delta is less than 0 it means that uh, this quadratic equation has no real roots so if this quadratic equation has no real roots uh, then we rejected in this case and we have only one solution of the given problem and that is x is equals to log of 3 base 2 so this is the one real solution of the given question this is the final answer thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos